Hello and welcome to this demonstration of a web migration using Xil IDE and Xil Content Scripts. What are we going to do today? What we want is to migrate from one content management system to the other. Our source system is Drupal, which contains a few documents like this one, it has a PDF which we could download and it contains some pages. Let's have a look at one of them. So the pages, they have a title, they have some paragraphs of text and obviously we could migrate any kind of page. We just show you this one as an example. Also we could migrate from any kind of system to any kind of system. It's very important to stress that we just show you these systems that we chose today as an example and because they are easy to install on our local machine. The target system for today is Adobe Experience Manager. Currently it does not contain any assets and the site is also empty. As you can see here. So what we want is we want to have these pages and documents migrated into AEM. Let's have a look at how we do that in Xil IDE. First I will just run the scripts for you and then later in the next video I will look at the details together with you. First our IDE. I'll zoom in to show you the different parts. We have the editor here which contains the script that we use to do the migration. On the left we have a project pane which contains all the other scripts that belong to the project. And then down here we have a help pane which you can use to learn more about the language or if you use functions that you don't use regularly then it's very nice to have, be able to look at them and see all the parameters and get a nice little example that you can use and cut and paste. Down here there's a console pane which will contain all the log messages and on the right we have a debugging pane which you can use to step through a script and debug. What we want now is we want to export all the content from Drupal into our unified data model. A very important part of the process that we use at Xilio to migrate is that first we extract everything into our own data model. Uh, the advantages being you get a good place to start an analysis, you get uh, the ability to integrate multiple sources and you can add modules that work on top of the unified data model. So for example you could use our classification module to check out uh, the text of a document and then classify it according to the text. But that's just one example, there are multiple other modules that you could use. I will run the export and in the console it will show us what it's doing. So now you will see all these pages and documents that we saw earlier being exported. Where did they go? Well, if I zoom out here and switch to RoboMongo, you will see that we have a database this is our unified data model that's implemented on MongoDB and it's empty right now. If I refresh it then you will see that we added the database, one of the, sc the script that we run added the database and it has a collection in it with documents. If I click that then you will see that uh, we have the pages and documents right here. So the pages are called article and the documents are called document. The data of the article is in one of these, we call them decorators. So it's structured data and you can reuse this for any kind of system and we just integrate them together here in this unified data model. So we could also in theory add some files that we got from a file share 
or maybe some pages that we got from a different web content management system. Once they are in this UDM, the Unified Data Model, then we can work with them and we can add fields, for example, based on business rules, or we could classify, as I mentioned earlier. As you see here, the document, I will zoom in for you, contains a, a file which has a path to the download site for the file and it has some metadata like the modified and created dates here and some custom metadata such as the fields industry and document type. Let's check out later if we manage to migrate those. For now I will just go back to XIL IDE and run the import. The import runs the same as the export basically. It shows us the pages that have been processed and now we should be able to see those in Adobe Experience Manager. Let's have a look at the site. Remember this used to be empty and now we see the pages that we had in Drupal before. If I open one of them it shows you the content of the page and you will see that we actually moved not only the content as plain HTML but also the title into the title field. And this would of course be possible for all fields. Let's have a look at the assets. And I can show you that these also have been moved into the download folder in AEM. Takes a little while to render here. But there they are. And here you will maybe recognize this PDF that I showed you earlier. Let's have a look at the back end of AEM uh, just to show you that we also now can see the metadata fields that are in here. Of course you could do something with them in the front end but we're not front end guys we just move the data for you. So here for example you have this rule PDF and it contains some metadata and one of those fields is industry. I will zoom in for you. Industry and the other one is document type. So we actually moved all the metadata from Drupal into AEM. That's basically how XIL IDE works. It's built to be fast. All the scripts are compiled and it's built to be easy to use for developers and content management users. So what we wanted is to create a scripting language that looks a bit like JavaScript but is in fact much easier to use and to learn. We support this learning by having a support site and the end result is a system in which you can build mig migrations like these in a few days where otherwise they would have cost weeks to build and maybe if you have a complex migration that would have cost months you can build it in a few weeks. In the next video we'll talk about how the scripts actually did what we just saw. Hello and welcome to this second part of the Xilio web migration demo. In the last part we showed you how we moved data from Drupal to Adobe Experience Manager and now we're going to dive into the scripts and see how the mapping and extraction actually worked. So let's have a look at our scripting language. The language itself is called Xil and so our scripts also have .xil as an extension. This first script it's rather simple, it starts with some comments and I include some libraries 
and then I call four other scripts. One of these scripts is the script that gets the notes from Drupal. So let's have a look at that one. I double click on the script and it opens. And here the interesting part is basically where we are getting the notes. Once we have the node, we have to map every field from the node to a field in our unified data model. So you can maybe remember from the last video that we have the modified and created date and we have some custom metadata fields uh, such as industry and document type. Well, we take these from the node that we got from Drupal and we put them into the field. So basically the only thing that really changes is the name. In the case of the date fields, we also have to throw them into our own little function that parses the Drupal timestamp and converts it to our date format. And that's it. That's how you map from one system to the other. So basically we just take the data out, we process it, and then we map it to the correct field in the unified data model. And this has the added advantage that every time that we want to take any data out of Drupal in the future, we can just reuse this spot, this Xil script, and we can add maybe some custom metadata that we have in this project, but all the other fields will already be there. If you have more content types, of course you will have to add a few more mappings and you might have some complex business rules that can actually take you some time to implement. But usually this basic principle stays the same. Let's have a look at how the import bot does the reverse on the Adobe Experience Manager side. So if we go down here then we will see that there is a function called import binary. That function comes from a library and if I open it it will show you exactly the same kind of mapping but then in reverse. So here we map to Adobe Experience Manager using JSON. So Adobe Experience Manager has a web service which takes JSON and we have to create a JSON file that we send to that web service and to create that we map all the fields that we got from our UDM and then we basically put them into the right place in the JSON. So if you look at the, those two metadata fields that I mentioned earlier, here we have industry and here we have the document type. They just have to be taken out of the data from the UDM and put into the right folder or path in the JSON file that we sent to AEM. There's also another way to do this and we do it for the uh, pages. If we take a little look here at our file system, I'll just open up the template that we're using. And you will see that there's a JSON file template that we have for the pages. This is the other way to do it. Uh, you will have some placeholders in a template. You just have the script search for those placeholders and replace them by the data that we took out of the unified data model. And then when it's all finished, the import script, let's go back, the import script will import the binaries and uh, push them to the target system. We do that here using our Xural post function 
and it pushes the JSON that was generated into the target system and then it checks the response status code. If the response is good, then it doesn't give us an error message but it just logs the file that was uploaded. So about logging, as you saw before, we have some uh, extensive logging built in uh, on screen. Of course you could also easily log that to a file and in the next increment of the software we will also have configurable logging to the database using a log for j configuration files. So you can actually choose what logging levels to log where. Those are the basics of mapping in XIL and that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our support site online where we can show you everything you always wanted to know about XIL. So please go to support.xilio.com looks like this and there you can search for anything you needed to know. For example, I mentioned decorators earlier that we use in the unified data model. If you want to know what standard decorators we use, then just search here for standard decorators and it will show you all the information that you need so you can also use our UDM to store all of your content from different kinds of content management systems and to reuse your robots the next time you have to use that same content management system. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.